And please be seated. Well, hello. Nice to see you. How are you doing this week? Good, good. Okay, well, today's message for, for you and for all these people really is based on one word. Audition. In case you didn't gather that. How many people saw that movie, Pastor Ed? Yay! <laughs> a bit more about that movie in a minute. Tradition. Do you know what tradition is? Yeah, it's things that have been that are done in a certain way through through generation after generation. They're custom ways of doing things, right? Yeah, I'm sure your families have some traditions, and you know the way of doing things. Families often at Christmas have set ways of doing things, and if they don't do them that way, it's not Christmas. Churches are great for traditions. Okay, we've always done it that way. That's the tradition. We need to keep it that way. And we all feel, uh, you know, when change comes around, we can feel a little unsettled. Yeah, it's like things, yeah, confused. Things don't feel quite right. And Tevier, who was the man you saw in that little clip, was a Jewish father living in a very remote village in Russia around 1905. They were Jews. It was a Jewish village in, the, in remote Russia. And he said that tradition made them feel balanced. It kept life in balance because they knew exactly what to do, how to do it. They had rules that had been passed down through generation after generation. And he had three teenage daughters. And they were starting to not quite like some of those rules. For example, the father in a Jewish family at that time chose who his daughters would marry. <laughs> not so that the girls couldn't fall in love and get married, but they did. They got they fell in love and of course it wasn't didn't go along with what Tevier knew. They always done it this way and it made him feel very unsure, as though things were breaking apart. Now the Pharisees, they keep cropping up, don't they, in our stories in recent weeks? They were great guys for tradition. They obeyed all the rules that had been handed down since Moses' time, yeah? And they made sure, or tried to make sure, that other people obeyed them too. And they felt very superior because they knew that they obeyed them. But not all people were strong enough to do that. So when Jesus came along, and he didn't seem to be obeying all the rules, all the traditions, he seemed to be doing things in a slightly different way. It made them feel very unsure. That's right, exactly right. Jesus healed a man on the Sabbath. And you can't do that, the Pharisees told him. So he was doing things that just weren't done, they weren't part of tradition, and they weren't part of Moses' rules, and, and 613 of them. So, they decided to put Jesus to the test. They were going to test him, they were going to bring him as an, an incident where they ask him what to do, they tell him what Moses' rules were, and if Jesus says, no, 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 you can't do that, then they would accuse him of breaking the law. And we're going to have that story next week. Okay? All right, so let, let's pray. Dear Lord, help us not get so wrapped up in tradition that we are afraid of change. Help us to be guided by you 
in all that we do. Amen. I never thought of that movie clip for today. That would have been a great movie clip for the sermon. I was, I was way out of line on that one.